Tennessee Senator Bob Corker says the debt deal is not an ideal plan, but one he supports and one he says is moving lawmakers in the right direction. We talk with him live right now on 6 News at 530. Live from the news station, WATE TV Knoxville, this is 6 News at 530. Well, now to the big story in Washington today. The Senate and House have now both passed legislation to raise the debt ceiling. The bill was then sent to President Obama's desk where he promptly signed it. Earlier on 6 News at 5, we told you how the Senate overwhelmingly approved the legislation that raises the debt ceiling and lowers the deficit by cutting federal spending by more than $2 trillion over the next 10 years. Well, new here at 530, Senator Bob Corker is joining us live in Washington tonight. So, Senator, a lot of people wanting to know this deal definitely got down to the wire today. Was it irresponsible for lawmakers to debate this for so long because some people are saying the damage is already done and our and our credit rating could actually still get dropped? Well, actually, you know, today was a deadline and Treasury probably had a few days after this. So, you know, this was something that had not been done before. The amount of debt ceiling raise was accompanied by a spending cut. And so I do think the paradigm has changed. The reason people are worried today about the downgrade is not not because of the debt ceiling. It's whether or not whether or not there were there were enough cuts in what we did. So I had pushed for far more. I think that, you know, I had a bill that cut five to seven trillion dollars. Everybody thought the minimum we should be cutting was at least four. This ended up being about 2.4 trillion dollars. I would have liked to have seen a lot more, but as you mentioned, uh, the faith and good credit of our country it was on the line. I felt like this was the maximum we could do with this administration and, and a Democratic Senate and felt like the responsible thing to do was to go ahead and pass this bill. But this is just the first step. We've got a lot more work to do, to do probably a decade of working on this issue to get our finances back in line. This was a good first step, though. Senator Corker, you just said a, a phrase that was very important. You said uh, voting on this and passing this today was the responsible thing to do. Now, there were some Tea Partiers who actually voted against it. Do you think that was an irresponsible thing to do, knowing what was at risk here today? You know, I, I got to tell you, I, I'm, my hat's off to the Tea Party. I think they are the ones that actually have helped energize and push this. I've been working on uh, lowering spending through the CAP Act now for 14 months. I've been all across our state and every nook and cranny you can imagine talking about this. So I think the added energy that came in in 2010 in November actually helped propel this forward. And I think all of us know for our country, uh, on both sides of the aisle, this is going to be a long, long struggle. It's taken a long time for us to get things so out of order here in Washington. I've been here four and a half years and have worked on it solid, and there's tremendous amounts of work for us to do so that our future is not like what we're seeing in the country of Greece today, where they waited too long. So a good first step. Tea Party created tremendous energy, and I think our country owes them a great debt of, data to, of, of gratitude. But at the end of the day, yes, I mean, raising the debt ceiling means that you're basically paying for bills you've already accumulated. And uh, yes, it was the right thing to do, but we sure did have a great debate, and I think our country is better off uh, because of it. Uh, Senator Corker, does that mean, uh, I think I read somewhere that you were saying you think the language has now changed in Washington about how budgets will be handled in the future. So what do you want the next step to be? Because as you said, there's a lot of work still to be done. Well, you know, we have this special committee that's going to be meeting and, and, and recommending at least another trillion and a half in cut. So, you know, that's the next step. And then, of course, every year we're supposed to have a budget. I think, you know, the Senate hadn't had a budget in about 820 days, which is totally dysfunctional from my standpoint. So, you know, there's getting a budget after that. So there's, there's, there are steps we can take almost uh, every four or five months to continue to lower the amount of spending. Obviously, the entitlements are the ones that are racking up tremendous uh, out years uh, liabilities. And those are things we need to do to make sure that they're solvent for the future. So a lot of tough decisions to be made. Uh, both sides of the aisle have got to be involved as we have just seen to make that happen, but uh, I'm glad we've taken this step, and uh, I wish it had been more, 
But, uh, you know, I learned in business that you can never go broke taking a profit. I started out as a very small business person. I've learned here in Washington that uh, whenever you can, t you can get spending cuts, you should take them. You should say yes to them and go on to the next round. And that's what we're going to do, and we're going to keep working on it. All right, Senator Corker, thank you for your time this evening. We appreciate it.